is Basil with another Scratch tutorial. This is the first Scratch advanced tutorial that I'm making. Um, alongside the normal show that I do, uh, Scratch beginners tutorials, I will now start a series of Scratch advanced tutorials, which will be for people that know a bit more about Scratch, so a bit higher level than beginner. Um, and this is going to be basically little tricks, little tips to speed up the process of making your project or make it a bit better. So this episode we are going to be looking at list stackers or list copiers. Um, I'll just quickly show you what it does. So as you can see, here we have a list and it is full of uh, things, so uh, the item thing. So there are 10 item things in here. Um, and what it does is it transports um, identically what this is over to here. So um, it copies this list into here, which is very useful. Um, it's used a lot in software making and game making, and it's generally a very good thing to know how to do. So this is what we're going to be making today, and I'm going to show you how. Okay. We're going to delete Scratch Cat because we don't need him. And we're going to make two lists. List 1. You can call it something else if you want, but this is less confusing. List 1 and list 2. And alongside that, we're going to be making a variable. And we can just call that whatever we want as well. This is going to be um, a key element to our project. Uh, we're going to need this. OK. So when green flag clicked, obviously. And here we go. Um, before we actually get into the coding, let's just put some stuff in list one that we can then um, copy across. So we need something to copy across in the first place. So in list one, just put uh, three or four items that you want. So I'm just going to list random things. Fence, cow, monkey. Just the first things that pop into my head. And that's all we need. We don't need anything more than that. We can just use that. And um, we are going to copy that across to list two. OK, so here we go. Uh, first of all, we need to reset list two. So at the start of the project, it's going to delete everything that was already in list two by going delete all of list two. And we are also going to set the variable to one. This will be. We, become clear why we're doing that later. Okay, so now we're taking out a repeat block. And in here, we are going to put length of list one. So repeat the amount of items that are in list one. So in my case, it would repeat three times because there are three things in list one. So that's what's here. Okay, um, we are going to go add change list1 to list2 and we are going to um, drag out item 1 of list1 and in here we're going to put variable of list1 so let me break this down for you um, add, um, the, so add this item into list2 and it is so say variable was 1, item 1 of list1 so that would be fence because um, the fence is item 1 of list one. This is what this means. So whatever the variable is, that is the item that we're going to put in list two. Okay, and then we're going to put under it change variable by one. So if you see what this does, it repeats this say three times. So it goes the first time around it would go, it would add item one of list one to list two. So the fence then it would change the variable by 1 and go again and this time it would be adding item 2 and that's how it works so if we run this we can see that it copies it over and if we um, put wait one second just before the repeat we can see that to start with it doesn't have anything in it but then it copies it across so um, I hope you got what I did there and the reasoning behind my coding and I hope this has been helpful.
I look forward to making more videos, um, so look out for that. I've got a lot of time now because it's the summer, and I have no excuses. <laughs> so I hope to see you then.